Uh, today we're going to be looking at um, calling code from a dynamic dynamic link library in your C Sharp application. So let's go ahead and start C Sharp, and I'm going to make this a quick tutorial, just showing you the how to file new project, and let's create a class library. Um, let's name it our first DLL. <coughs> Okay, let's add some very basic code in the class. We're going to make a function or a method, I guess you would say. Public int, so we're going to make a method re that returns an integer. We're going to call it add numbers. Oh, I'm sorry, add numbers. Open parentheses, int a, int b. Everyone loves integers, except doubles and float points. Okay, so we're going to do, I'm sorry, int result equals a plus b return result. Okay, um, if you're watching this video, you probably know what that means, so I don't really need to explain it. I'm fairly confident that I built, or type that correctly. So I'm going to build my solution and I'm going to save all our first DLL to um, and the reason being I've I've done this lesson twice and had messed up and I haven't cleared these folders so it, the first one started our first DLL and then our first DLL 2 and then in this video this redo of the video it's it's to our first DLL too, so that's why. Let's save. Okay, now let's go to a new project, Windows Forms application, and we'll put link to DLL. Um, uh, add a button. Okay, before we can use code from our DLL, I mean, C Sharp does not know. Um, that we're wanting to use code, and if we re try and reference um, our first DLL two dot class one, you know we get nothing because C sharp has no idea what we're talking about. So we got to right click here, add reference, select the browse tab. Um, in your My Documents, select Visual Studio 2008, could be 2005 or 2010. Projects, our first, yours will probably be our first DLL. Mine's here. Go to the bin, release, and add that DLL. Okay, here, let's tell C Sharp that we're using our first DLL. Okay, now we have to create a new instance of the class one. Um, DLL test equals new. Okay, so, um, I'm making a new instance of class 1 from the DLL which contained our function, our method. So I have to do that before we, I have to create a reference to the object before I can reference my method within the object. So now let's do message box dot show, I'm sorry, dot show we'll do dll test dot add two numbers enter our parameters let's put two and three and that returns an integer if you remember that method returns an integer so we have to use the to string method to convert it to string um, okay let's run the application we have build errors Oh, of course, I forgot my semicolon. OK, 
Okay, now run the application. And we get 5, which is 2 and 3. So that's how you call code from a dynamic link library, which is helpful if someone releases a library online for, say, a media conversion that you don't want to do yourself. So I hope this helped.